to welcome everyone to the Town of Lexington Council meeting. This meeting is being held at Town Hall Tuesday evening, September 4th, 2018. This meeting is being broadcast live and will be replayed several times over the next week on the Town's Cable Information Channel 1301 and will be available for viewing on the Town's website. I'm Steve McDougall. I'm the Mayor of the Town of Lexington. At this time, I would like to introduce my fellow council members. To my left is Mayor Pro Tem Hazel Livingston. Good evening. To her left is Council Member Todd Carnes. Good evening. To his left is Council Member Steve Baker. Good evening. To my right is Council Member Kathy Maness. Good evening. To her right is Council Member Ron Williams. Good evening. And to his right is Council Member Todd Lyle. Good evening. At this time, I would like to ask Pastor Rocky Purvis from Northside Baptist Church to please come forward and offer invocation for tonight's meeting and welcome. Yes, sir, please. Thank you for being with us. Well, thank you for having me. I know how unchurched people used to feel when they came to church and we were all dressed up. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope the meeting tonight goes much better and is much more civil than some of the meetings that have been telecast today. So let's pray, okay? Absolutely. Father God Almighty, we come to you tonight in the name of Jesus, thanking you. We thank you for how you love us. We thank you for how you have shown us mercy and grace. Father, we realize that without you, we would have nothing and we would be nothing. We owe everything to you, and we thank you. Father, I thank you for these men and women who, Lord, are giving of their time to serve you and serve this city. And Father, I pray that you will give them divine wisdom and guidance and direction. Father, I pray that you will use them and you will guide them as they seek to minister to the people of our city. Father, I pray that you will be with this meeting tonight and guide everything that happens. I pray that every word that is said, every thought that comes into our mind will be pleasing to you and will bring honor to you. And I pray this, Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. 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 Pastor Purvis, thank you very much for being with us. At this time, I saw a little Cub Scout back there. If, yeah, come on forward. I want you to, uh, if you would do something special for us. Just two of them. Probably Twins. both of them. Come on. <laughs> Y'all step up to the microphone so that we can hear you on the microphone. <laughs> if you would... If you would, please lead us in tonight's Pledge of Allegiance. If everyone would please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And real quick, what are your names, gentlemen? I'm Nico. I'm Georgia. All right, guys. Thank you very much for being with us. And what a good job. Thank you. At this time, I will call the meeting to order and report on tonight's executive session. We got through some of it, but not all of it. We are going to have to go back into executive session after this. But I will report on the issues that we took care of tonight. We had three legal issues. We had issues regarding election ordinance. We had two issues regarding pending litigation. We had uh, two contractual issues. Uh, the first one was three economic development issues, and the second contractual issue was downtown development issue. Those items were the ones we tackled in executive session. No vote was taken in executive session. Do I have a motion to ratify the mayor's executive session report? So moved. We have a motion by Councilmember Manus and a second. Second. Councilmember Carnes seconds the motion. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. And that is unanimous. Thank you. We will move right into deletions on tonight's agenda. Are there any deletions of any items on the agenda for tonight? Hearing none, we will move right into approval of minutes, copies of the minutes from the council work sessions and council meetings on July 16 and August 20th, 2018, 
were provided in your packets. Are there any omissions, additions, or corrections for council work session July 16, regular council meeting July 16, council work session August 20, and regular council meeting August 20? Motion to approve. Councilmember Manus makes a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. second. Mayor Pro Tem seconds the motion. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. That is unanimous. At this time, we will move into presentation. Our first presentation this evening is a proclamation that will be read by Council Member Todd Carnes. Council Member Carnes. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Do we have anyone here for this proclamation for Constitution Week? Mm -hmm. Yes. Can we, do you uh, ladies please stand up? Come to the microphone as I read your proclamation, and then as I read through this, we'll want to hear a few words from you as I finish uh, about this. This is a proclamation of the mayor and council for the town of Lexington, South Carolina, designating September 17 through 23, 2018, as Constitution Week. Whereas the tradition of celebrating the Constitution was started by the daughters of the American Revolution, and in 1955, the daughters of Revolution petitioned Congress to set aside September 17 through 23 annually to be dedicated for the observance of Constitution Week and whereas September 17th marks the 231st anniversary of drafting of the Constitution of the United States of America by the Constitutional Convention and whereas the Constitution of the United States of America the guardian of our liberties embodies the principles of limited government in a republic dedicated to rule by law and whereas learning about the principles of the Constitution allows us to reflect on the rights and privileges of citizenship, now therefore be it proclaimed by the mayor and council for the town of Lexington, South Carolina, that September 17th through 23rd, 2018 is hereby declared as Constitution Week in the town of Lexington, and all citizens are encouraged to work together to renew and deepen their appreciation for the unique and precious heritage passed on to us by our founding fathers through the United States Constitution dated this fourth day of September 2018 by the mayor, Steve McDougal. Let me come present this to you and then it'd be great if y'all could uh, share a few words with us. Thank you again for doing this honor for us this year. We're Granby chapter named after the Granby uh, village that was settled on the Congaree River. And uh, aside from not repeating everything that he said, we, we are honored and thankful for our ancestors that gave us the freedom that we have to pray and to be here and to make decisions. And um, it's a special year in South Carolina for DAR because our, our South Carolina branch of the National DAR is 125 years old this wow. year. So we've been celebrating every way we can come up with this. So this, is, <laughs> this is great. And, and we appreciate so much your support in doing this and um, in continuing and allowing us throughout um, Lexington County, we go into the schools and are still able to give DAR awards for good citizenship and to the ROTC programs um, for the merits for the things that they have done for our nation. So thank you. Thank you for having us. It's You're an honor. welcome. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Our next presentation is from Chief Terrence Green. We have a special award to present this evening, Chief. Mayor Council, it's indeed again a great day to bring two of your heroic officers and an act of life saving to, to one of ours. Um, y'all can, they're so humble, you know. So humble. So humble. <laughs> uh, Mayor Council, on May, on Wednesday, May 31st, 2018, by 4 p.m., 
at the Lexington Middle School, a school resource officer, Warbooter, was notified by a member of the middle school staff that a female located at the capture was having a medical emergency. SRO, Warbooter located a female unconscious, not breathing, and with no pulse of light in the hallway. She observed Lexington, one of the Lexington medical staff, middle school staff already over the patient before the chest compression. SRO Warburton requested EMS and help from other officers. After calling the EMS, she took over chest compressions on the female. Lieutenant Bledsoe responded from the police department and met with SRO Warburton. Upon assessing the patient, Lieutenant Bledsoe began rescue breathing for the patient and assisted SRO Warburton. After several rounds of CPR, the patient regained her, per, her pulse and a level of consciousness. At the Vorbrudy and Blesso continued patient care until Lexington Fire and Lexington County EMS took service over. The female patient was transported to the hospital where she would underwent surgery. The fast thinking and quick actions of Lieutenant Blesso, SRO Vorbrudy, and the Lexington Middle School staff contributed to the patient's survival this incident. For their heroic actions, Warburdy and Bledsoe will present the life saving award from the police department. Mm -hmm. Mayor, if you could uh, present this award to us. Mm -hmm. Just on a side note, we were informed that uh, uh, the medical uh, the patient, she's still home, she survived, him, and we have with us. Uh, one of my favorite student principal, Ms. Nestor. Um, we appreciate your staff and helping uh, uh, our officers with this one. We, we appreciate your uh, assistance. Absolutely. Our school runs beautifully because of the cooperation that we have. And so you. appreciate y'all. Thank you. I got an evaluation coming up. So, <laughs> <laughs> so if we could uh, present the lecture. Yes, sir. Let's go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Great job. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Get another. Y'all, please, um, a few words. <laughs> and they are very humble. They did not want us to give this award. Um, that's why it took us so long, kind of getting the arms to come. But please, words. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Wally. Thank you. Caitlin, thank you. Very good. Great job. <laughs> At this time, I will go into a vision plan update for September 2018. The Lexington Live Concert Series our Fall Lexington Live Concert Series kicks off this Thursday, September 6th, from 6.30 p.m. to 9.30 at the Ice House Amphitheater. This Thursday will be the Fantastic Shakers. The five-week series will run on Thursday evenings, and future performances include September 13th will be the Men of Distinction, September 20th will be the Fantasy Band, October 4th will be the Finesse Band, and October 11th, ending the concert series, will be the Root Doctors. For a full list of events, please visit icehouseamphitheater.com. Also in the vision plan update for September, the Farmer's Market runs each Saturday from August to September, and it runs from 9 a.m. in the morning to 12 p.m. at Lexington Square Park. For more information, please contact 358-7275 or email us at farmersmarket at lexsc.com. Finally, the Noah Guthrie concert. Uh, I think it is a good thing that it got canceled because he is still filming on America's Got Talent. So that means he's made it to another round. He was supposed to be here. Um, this coming up September 21st, but he's made it for another round, so 
we are going to postpone his concert in hopes that he goes all the way and then we will have the winner of America's Got Talent at the Ice House Amphitheater. But due to filming and media requirements from that show, the Noah Guthrie show will be rescheduled. Um, we will postpone until April of next year and tickets for the new date will go on sale this coming December 12th. For more information, you can email Ice House Amphitheater at icehouseamp at lexsc.com or again, you can call 358-7275. Best of luck to Noah. We hope he goes all the way and uh, brings that title to South Carolina and celebrates. And we think it may be one of his first shows after he wins. So we're, we're praying that he may win that and go all the way. But that is the vision plan for September 2018. We will have a traffic update from Mayor Pro Tem Hazel Livingston at this time. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The Jenny Lane and I-20 exit ramp improvements will begin in the next couple of weeks. The work is expected to take about six months to complete. Lastly, the SCDOT is continuing the sidewalk installation project along US-1 Augusta Highway towards I-20, and it's expected to be completed by the end of this month. Periodic lane closures are expected, so please use caution in this area. The next traffic committee meeting will be Wednesday, September the 12th at 8 a.m. on the third floor conference room. And finally, if you're aware of any traffic issues, please call 358-7273. Very good. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem. This time we will move into public hearing. Speakers are limited to five minutes. Absolutely, ladies. Thank you all very much. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you. Again, speakers are limited to five minutes. The first public hearing for tonight is final reading of an ordinance to sell town property at 103 West Main Street. Anyone here wish to speak to that? Hearing none, that concludes public hearings for this evening. We will move right into old business. Our first item of old business is from Council Member Kathy Manis. Final reading of an approval of an ordinance to sell town property at 103 West Main Street. Council Member Kathy Manis. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Council. The town has received an offer to buy its property at 103 West Main Street. This is the parcel adjacent to Aladia's. The sales price requested is $250,000, and the town anticipates use restrictions similar to those contained in the agreement wherein the, wherein the Aladia's par parcel was sold. The parcel has recently been used as a laydown area for the construction of the amphitheater and the one-way pairs project. The proposed sales contract is attached. I make a motion for final reading approval of an ordinance to sell town property at 103 West Main Street. Councilmember Manis makes a motion. Do I have a second? A second. Councilmember Baker seconds the motion. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. That is unanimous. Our next item of old business is from Councilmember Todd Carnes. Final reading of an ordinance annexing Lexington County tax map number 3500-03-118 and 127 located at 221 Corley Mill Road. Council Member Todd Carnes. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Steve and Sheila Hall own 7.62 acres on two parcels located at 221 Corley Mill Road and have petitioned to annex the properties. Corley Mill House and Gardens is located on the site. Properties in town near these are zoned limited commercial and Corley Mill Road is classified as a collector road. The Planning Commission reviewed this annexation during their August meeting and recommended the same zoning and road classification for these parcels. Mr. Mayor, I make a motion for final reading approval. Council Member Collins makes a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Council Member Williams seconds the motion. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. That is unanimous. That concludes our old business for this evening. We will move right into new business. Our first item of new business is from Council Member Ron Williams. First reading of an ordinance annexing Lexington County tax map number 3500-04-025 located at 4787 Sunset Boulevard. Council Member Williams. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Council. 
GNL Investments of Lexington, LLC owns one acre located at 4787 Sunset Boulevard and has petitioned to annex the property. A small commercial building is located on the site. Properties in the town near this one are zoned general commercial and Sunset Boulevard is classified as an arterial road. The Planning Commission will review this annexation during the September meeting to recommend a zoning and road classification for this parcel. I'd like to make a motion for first reading approval. Councilmember Williams makes a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Councilmember Lyle seconds the motion. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. That is unanimous. Our next item of new business is from Councilmember Steve Baker. First reading of an ordinance for the authorization of water and sewer revenue bonds and bond anticipation notes. Councilmember Steve Baker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Council. The town's water and sewer system capital improvement plan for fiscal year 2019 totals approximately $14.4 million. Additionally, the cost of the I-20 system may be finalized in, in the next several months and may require interim financing. <clears throat> the overall financing plan includes a mix of capital contribution fee income, retained earnings, bond issuances, and state revolving fund loans. Accordingly, the financing plan requires a supplemental bond ordinance to authorize water and sewer revenue bonds and bans. The supplemental ordinance will authorize various, will authorize various series of bonds and bans, which in total will not exceed $19.5 million. Bans are expected to be issued to provide interim financing for capital projects, including the Cromer Road pump station, and upgrades to water pumping capacity at the Lake Murray Water Treatment Facility in addition to the resolution of the I-20 system acquisition. Permanent long-term bond financing is anticipated in fiscal year 2021 upon completion of the projects. I make a motion for first reading of an ordinance authorizing water and sewer revenue bonds and bond anticipation notes. Councilmember Becker makes a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Council Member Corner seconds the motion. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. That is unanimous. Our next item of new business is from Council Member Todd Lyle. Request from Meals on Wheels. Council Member Todd Lyle. Thank you, uh, Council, Mr. Mayor. Um, the Lexington County Recreation and Aging Commission's Council on Aging program has requested support from the town of Lexington to heighten awareness of the circumstances that many of Lexington County's aging individuals um, and to support the meal on Meals on Wheels program. Um, there's a letter of request attached. Each year from 2015 to 2017, this council's voted to donate $500 to the Meals on Wheels program, and I would uh, make a motion for the council to consider this again. Thank you, Council Member Lyle. Council Member Lyle makes a motion. Do I have a second? Second. second. Council Member, um, excuse me, Mayor Pro Tem, second. Some motion. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. That is unanimous. Our next item of new business is from Council Member Steve Baker. Keep the Midlands beautiful. Council Member Baker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Council. During Council's July work session, Ms. Jacqueline Buck gave Council an overview of all the projects that Keep the Midlands Beautiful helps with in several counties. They are responsible for Adopt a Highway, Adopt a Waterway, E-Waste and Paper Shredding Events, Recycling Events for Festivals, Planting Trees and Helping with Beautification Projects depending on grants and funds raised during their gala. Municipalities can help keep the Midlands beautiful in several ways. One is to become a sponsor for the Keep the Midlands Beautiful Gala for a Greener Midlands 2018, which will be held November 16, 2018 at the River Center in Saluda Shoals Park. There are also flyers attached. Uh, sponsor levels include signature sponsor $5,000, platinum sponsor $1,250, Gold sponsor of $1,000, silver sponsor for $600. I make a motion for council consideration for approval of a sponsorship for Keep the Midlands Beautiful Gala for a Greener Midlands 2018. 
Councilmember Baker makes a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Councilmember Lyle seconds the motion. Any further discussion? Um, I didn't hear him say for how much. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to vote until I know how much. Uh, my um, motion here does not include an amount, but if I was going to include one, I would say a silver sponsor for 600. Councilmember Baker suggests $600 as the sponsorship level in that motion. Councilmember Lyle, you still second that? Uh, I do, Mr. Mayor. I, I believe I, I, I was under the impression the motion was for us to consider this at maybe our next work session, but it was for tonight. So I, I would, um, I would still second that. Very good. We have a motion and a second for six hundred dollars. Any further discussion? Just for Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. <laughs> Just uh, for the sake of having it on record. I mean, this is an organization that kind of does a lot of cleanup and. Um, picking up litter on the side of the road and so it's something that I personally uh, have an affinity for those who care and do something about it um, and so personally I'm honored to play a part in their gala and contribute to what their their mission and also just as a question wasn't there um, didn't County Council member Daryl Hudson have a matching donor or something along those lines for is there something like that, Mr. Mayor? Absolutely. He called me this week and said whatever we decided to give, he has a private donor that will match dollar for dollar whatever we give to keep the Midlands beautiful. He's already at a $40,000 level. Um, so that sponsor is going to match that dollar for dollar. What's county council doing? Do we know? I do not. Any further discussion? Me being the person that likes beautification in green on this council and seems to be so involved, I would personally like to see us do at least a thousand. If it's in the budget. And I know I don't normally do that, but it is at this time of year, yeah. I would second that then. Mayor Pro Tem makes a motion to up that to one thousand dollars. Council Member Lyle seconds that motion. Any further discussion? Just, just for the record, I would like to say I remember when Miss Buck came and gave her presentation. I thought it was a, it was very genuine, and this is something she's very passionate about. And I think this would be she'd be a good steward of the investment, uh, as evidenced by this private donor as well as the forty thousand that's already been raised. So, any further discussion? All those in favor of one thousand dollars to keep the Midlands beautiful, please raise your right hand. That is unanimous. Thank you. That concludes our new business for this evening. At this time, we will hear announcements from Council Member Ron Williams. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Council. The Town of Lexington's Farmer Market wraps up this month. So if you've not had a chance to come out, it is every Saturday from 9 to noon at the Lexington Park. Please come out and support all the local vendors as they wrap up the year. This Thursday is the kickoff for the Lexington Live Fall Concerts. If you missed the free concerts last year, you'll want to put it on your calendar. This is great music. We have good food, lots of beverages, and of course, a lot of your neighbors will be there. We really enjoyed the concerts last year, and I'm looking forward to it again. Also, thanks to uh, the downtown venue promoter, Walker Brewer, who has done a great job booking the events at the amphitheater. And congratulations to Walker and his wife, Brittany. They became parents in July to little baby Hazel. The Board of Zoning Appeals will meet this Thursday, September the 6th at 5.30 here in the Council Chambers. As Mayor Pro Tem Bloomington mentioned, the Traffic Committee will meet Wednesday, September the 12th at 8 a.m. in the third floor conference room. Council will meet again on September 17th for the Council Work Session, which will start at 6 p.m. in the Eli Mack Room. The Planning Commission will meet Wednesday, September the 19th at 8 a.m. here in the Council Chambers. Um, we always announce our board and committee member meetings as reminders that they are open to the public. Uh, so you feel free to come if you want to any of the meetings that we, we hold during that time. Um, if you're interested in serving on one of the boards or committees, uh, we currently have eight vacancies. Please visit the www.lexsc.com and under the government tab, look for the boards and commissions. 
There you will find information about all the boards and an application. We hope you had a great Labor Day weekend and thank you for watching our town council in action tonight. Are there any other members of council that have any announcements for this evening? I have two. I would like to uh, wish Alan Lutz, his father, a speedy recovery as he had a procedure today. We're thinking about him. Keep him in our thoughts and our prayers. He's a tough guy. I know he'll bounce back and be just fine, but let you know that we're thinking about him. Also, to my man, Jonathan Manus, today is his birthday. Y'all all know Jonathan, Kathy's son, youngest son. Um, so we would like to wish Jonathan a huge happy birthday from town council. If there are no more announcements, we will ask questions from the news media. I don't believe we have any with us tonight, unless Karen wants to. Thank you. <laughs> any public comments from tonight's meeting? Oh, Mr. Bear. Yes, sir, Mr. Williams. I, I'm sorry, I have one for Randy. Randy, I've had several phone calls about the red light at Corley Mill on Highway 378. The Corley Mill intersection is only clearing, they say, four or five cars at a time. Can you uh, enlighten us a little bit about how much longer it'll be before that the uh, computer system catches up and readjusts for school traffic? I, I believe that that's in reference to the first day of school, and we did make adjustments for the second, third, subsequent days for that particular time period. So unless there's still an issue, we've, we've seen plenty of cars clear, that's not the Okay. But if there's still an issue, then we can look at it again. But we did drop in a new program that was different than, than what had been running all summer. Great, you, you take another look at that. I, I, the folks would appreciate it. They, I just had, like I said, had a couple of calls about it, and uh, I told them I'd ask. So, thank you. thank you. Any other comments? That concludes our business for this evening. Unfortunately, we will have to go back into executive session. Do I have a motion to return to executive session? So moved. Council Member Baker makes a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Council Member Williams seconds the motion. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. We are in executive session.